I'm going to show you the easiest way to fix what some of your students do to their Chromebooks. Now Chromebooks have great accessibility features. Um, they can read the screen, they can take your voice and do the typing for you, high contrast. There are some great tools that many of our students absolutely need. And those work beautifully as prescribed and as they're supposed to be used. Unfortunately, many of our students find these accessibility tools as fun ways to make their Chromebooks look different. Normally that wouldn't be a problem, but as many of you probably have run into, some of these kids tend to turn on multiple features and suddenly, before you know it, their Chromebook no longer works. I've even had students' Chromebooks completely locked up and there's nothing we can do. Can't move the mouse, can't do anything. And the really kind of bummer thing is this follows them around. It's tied to their account. So that means every Chromebook they sign into, they're going to have these issues. So to avoid having your tech department have to come in and whitewash and then get into that student's account, I'm going to show you the really easy way to disable some of those accessibility features that your students don't need that they are turning on. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show the easy way first. So if you have this feature already enabled and everything set, this is a quick and easy fix. And then I'll show you the way that if the accessibility feature is not um, set onto your dock that you can get around that too. So we'll do the easy way first. Both of them start in the same place. You go down to the clock in the bottom corner and you can see I've turned on one of these accessibility features with the um, mouse here. Now there are two that I use all the time, text-to-speech, um, some other features, but I'm going to show this how it has the circle around the mouse. Lots of kids turn this on. They love it. If you go down to the clock, you click on the clock, and then you go up. If you have this icon right here that says accessibility, this is super easy and quick. This is like five seconds and you're done. So all I would have to do is click on that little accessibility option. And on the right hand side over here are all of the features I have on. So I have dictation, I have text to speech enabled. As I scroll down, you can see I also had highlight the mouse cursor. If I just click that little checkbox, now it's off. That's how easy it is to turn these kiddos' features off if they're turning them on. So if your doc comes up and you have this on there, it's quick and easy. Now something to remember too is if that's on, it's also quick and easy for your students to turn them right back on again. And that's going to be a classroom management issue. So let's say you go and you go to turn off those options, you click the clock, and this feature, this icon is not there. No big deal, we can still get in there. Now you'll just go up to the gear, the settings gear right here. You'll click on the settings gear. On the left hand side, go over to advanced. Click the drop down there, scroll down just a little bit, and you will see accessibility. Click on that. This checkbox won't be on, it won't be checked on yours. This is the checkbox that shows this icon here. So if you want that icon there, you know that this kiddo is, no matter what, they're going to constantly go in and keep turning these features on. If you put that checkbox on, this shows up here. If you turn that checkbox off, that accessibility will disappear. So I leave mine on because I use it often enough. Keep in mind though, if it's on, it's also going to be quick and easy for your students to get to. But in the long run, it's just going to be easier for you to turn things on or off. Then you would click right here, Manage Accessibility Features. And this is the long list of all of the features with some descriptions on what they are. So if you didn't have that icon on the dock, you can go in here and turn those same features off. So those are the two places to go. Click on the clock. If you have this feature there, great, just click on it. And then just disable any of the options that you want off there. Or go to the gear, far left, go to advanced, scroll down, accessibility, manage accessibility features, and same thing, just turn off the switches on the icons or on the features that you don't want. So I hope that helps. Make sure that the features are on for the students that need them, but the kiddos that don't need them, that just want to have those little things show up, 
it does cause problems, lots of problems with testing programs and other features that you may run into, especially when those kiddos turn like a bunch of those features on, it can lock up your Chromebook.